What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Stand By Me by Benny King on the good old uke. <laughs> As always, with every ukulele tutorial, I will include a skip to section right here where you can skip to either the chords, the chord progression, or the strumming for this song. If you don't want to sit through an entire 10 minute video, I totally get it. I totally understand. But if you did watch the entire thing, I'd love you forever. As always, all links to everything will be in the description below and also the entire chord sheet will be in the description which basically consists of the lyrics and chords uh, and the chords is actually right above the word so you know exactly when to change chords. So that will be provided for you for free. It's a gift to you in the description below so make sure to open the description, check out all the goodies, all the socials and everything. But with that all said and done, let's go ahead and learn the chords that we need for this song. All right, so the chords that we need for this song are A minor, C, F, and G7. Now, a little quick note, if you do want to change out the G7 with a G, you can do that as well. So those are the chords that we need for this song, and if you're like, Ricky, I know all those chords, let's move on to the chord progression or the strumming, I got you. Skip to section will be your best friend, just go to whatever timestamp it says for whatever section in the video that you want to uh, go to and learn. But if you're like, Ricky, I just picked up uke a week ago, yesterday, an hour ago, please help me, I don't know where to put my fingers on the uke for each chord, please help. Don't worry, this is why this video exists. We're gonna go step by step on where to put our fingers on the uke for each chord, and then we'll talk about chord progressions and then strumming. So if you wanna learn the chords, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's learn these chords. As always, I will include a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke. I just feel like it helps a lot when you can visually see and then have me talk you through it as well. It's like a double whammy, you know what I mean? So let's talk about the first chord that we need, which is the A minor chord. And how we're gonna play this chord is, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, which again is the top string, fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place your ring finger on the first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the F chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. And the last chord that we need is the G7 chord and how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the third string, second fret. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the first string, second fret, and it should sound like this. Also something that I did mention in the beginning of this video, if you wanna swap out with the G chord, instead of playing the G7 chord, all you have to do for the G chord is take your pointer finger and place it on the third string, second fret, then take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret, and then take your ring finger and place it on the second string, third fret, and it should sound like this. So you can choose whether you feel comfortable more with the G7 chord or with the G chord. Then you can swap them out, maybe practice each, and there you have it. All right, so those are all the chords that we're gonna use for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on, and once the chords sound crisp and clear, press play, and now let's talk about the chord progression that we're gonna use for this song coming up next. All right, so we just learned the chords, now let's talk about the chord progression that we're gonna use for this song. So the chord progression is gonna go C, a minor, F, G7, 
and then back to C. And then you just go on that chord progression again and again and again and again. And then it's just going to go again, C, A minor, F, G7, and then C. So that's the chord progression that we're going to use for this song. And once we add the strumming pattern, you'll hear it basically, it'll, just, it'll literally stand out and be like, yes, that is stand by me. So let's talk about the chord progression coming up next. All right, so we talked about the chords and the chord progression, and now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song. I'm gonna teach you a few different ways you can play this song. The first way is gonna be for the true beginner who's like, Ricky, I don't even wanna deal with the strumming pattern. I just wanna get through the song. I love Stand By Me. I just wanna get through it. Well, uh, let's talk about it. So the first way that we can play this song for the true beginner is just going to be with a down strum. So you can strum down with your thumb and just do a little quicker. So whenever you see a chord change, just strum down. And it'll sound just as awesome. And as I previously mentioned, the chord sheet will be in the description so you can copy and paste it, keep it for yourself, save it on your laptop, phone, computer, wherever you save things. And the chord sheet basically consists of the full lyrics with the actual chord right above the words so you know exactly when to strum down. All right, so let's talk about the second way that we can play this song, and that is with the strumming pattern. So it's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So it's gonna go again, it's gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up. So the second way strumming pattern that you can do is with a chuck. So you're gonna substitute some of the downs with the chuck. So it's gonna sound like this. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck. Let's do that one more time. And three, two, one. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So now let's talk about the actual strumming for this song. So we know the strumming patterns that you can choose. So let's go through uh, kind of the tempo and how many times you strum that strumming pattern for every chord. So again, the chord progression is C, A minor, F, G7, and then back to C. So for the C, you're gonna strum twice that strumming pattern. So it's gonna go, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and we go to A minor and do that strumming pattern again twice for A minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. For F, you're going to do that strumming pattern once. Down, down, up, up, down, up. G7, you're going to do that strumming pattern once. Down, down, up. And then C, strumming pattern twice. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then you just repeat that entire process. So again, C is gonna get two strumming patterns. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. A minor is gonna get two strumming patterns. Down, down, up, up, down. is going to get one strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, G7, one strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, two strumming patterns, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so we talked about the chords, the chord progression, and the three different ways that you can play this song. Congratulations, you now know how to play Stand By Me by Benny King on the good old uke. As always, if you did like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube, if you haven't already. Also, I do wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to you for watching. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, watching with me, learning with me, and choosing me to teach you this song. I truly appreciate it and I can't thank you enough. Again, if you do wanna leave a comment below letting me know what other songs you want to learn, I'm always open, I'm always down to learn new songs. So again, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're like, Ricky, what is this beautiful uke you're playing? Well, this is the Balna Ukulele. It is a multicolored uke, has a really fun fretboard. And again, you can see on the headstock, it's Balna Ukulele. And it's just really pretty and super glossy, which is my favorite.
it. So if you do want to get this, I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below. That's where I got it on Amazon. This is the concert size. If you, They also have a soprano size right now. And as I'm recording this right now, the soprano is $72.99. And the concert, which is this one, this is $82.99. And both of them come with a really awesome gig bag, a strap, picks, a tuner, and extra strings. So if you're looking out for a new soprano or concert uke and you want something really fun, I highly recommend this one. And it's super glossy and super cool. So again, link in the description below if you wanna get this one. Also, I couldn't make a video without plugging my merch. If you do wanna get my merch, link in the description below. This is the official Uke Fam merch. Uh, we have hats, hoodies, t-shirts, all the stuff. Again, everything will be linked below. And make sure to tag me on my socials, especially on Instagram. We've reached over 56,000 Instagram family members, and I would love for you to join. My Instagram is just at Ricky Somborn. If you wanna see more behind the scenes and kind of day-to-day -day stuff in my life, best way to see that is Instagram. It's just, again, at Ricky Somborn. Follow me, send me a DM, let me know what video you came from, and if you have any questions, again, Instagram or the comment section below will be the best way to get a hold of me. Literally, I'm always on Instagram, I'm always on YouTube. So again, let me know uh, just more about yourself. I wanna know who's watching. Tell me about yourself, I'm so curious. All right, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate you being here and hanging out with me for these 10, 15 minutes. I can't thank you enough for choosing me to teach you this song. And again, let me know what other songs you want me to teach you in the comments below. I love reading them and also I love learning new songs. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.